Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting question today. We have 3 plus 3 in parentheses and we divide it by 3 plus 3 in parentheses. Yeah, so on the first side, this is like a very easy question. So a lot of students learn about this math operation like in the third grade. So everyone can easily handle this question, can solve it because we don't have any exponent, we don't have any like long expression and long and complicated expression with square root. We have like a regular, very simple math expression, algebraic expression right here with, with a with division, yeah, and we have parents, yeah, so we have three like elements. And right now, I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It is really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video, and of course, this is like a really great test for you to check our answers, okay? Three options, three, six, and we have the factorial right here, three options, and our question is right here. So, I hope you choose a correct correct answer. So first of all, I want to start with this solution. So I just wanted to rewrite this problem right here real quick. So we have 3 plus 3 and we divide it by 3 plus 3 in parentheses. So one part of students solve it like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I just want to show these first uh, type of solution and many, many solve it like that. So let's go. So 3 plus 3 equal to equal to 6. Okay, so one part of students go from, from left to right and they don't care about uh, the, about addition, division, so which is they just go from left to right. So they start from these parentheses. Let's rewrite this expression. So we have 6 divided by 3 plus 3. Okay, here's our expression. And we have once more our left-hand side uh, operation. We have division. So we have 6 divided by 3 equal to, equal to 2. And we have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 equal to equal to 5. So one part of students solve it like that. As you can see, we don't have this option right here because this is like very bad solution. Many students solve it like that. And this is very bad solution for us because as you can see right here, we did this uh, addition, <coughs> then division, then addition once more, which is really, really bad solution. But I want to mention that this is mm, solution. A lot of students solve it like that. And I just want to say that this is very bad solution. And we just need to forget about this solution because addition, then division, then once more addition, this is like a chaotic method, so we just solve this problem as I type it in from left to right, which is which is really bad. So just forget about this solution. Let's try to think how can we solve this correctly, because obviously we have like addition in parentheses, we have division, and we have addition in parentheses once more. So we have three elements, and we need to know what we need to start with from addition, from a division, and from this addition. Because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, I have this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. And I chose this PMDMC to solve this question. And I won't say that I respect every order of operation. For example, BODMAS with BODMAS, we will have the completely the same, the same answer uh, as in PMDMC, okay? So let's try to solve it according to PMDMC. I just wanted to rewrite this question. So we have 3 plus 3 in parentheses and we divide it by 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3. Okay, here is our question. And let's go, let's look at this PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom. So we just need to go through the steps right here real quick. We have first step. The first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. Yeah, right here we have first step. This is our last step. And let's look at this. Where do we have this parentheses? Let's look at it. So yeah, we have parentheses right here. And we have parentheses right here. So we need to start from this parentheses. You can see we have parentheses. So we need to start from this step first of all. 3 plus 3 equal to 6. And we have division by by 6. So as you can see, after first step, we have really, really easy expression right now. And I want to say that right here we don't have any exponents. As you can see, we don't have any exponents, squares, cube. We don't have any multiplication sign. We have division sign. Yes, I told before, right here we have only division sign. So we have, have this step. We don't have any addition. Because we did the step before, we just we just add it in parentheses, which is really easy for us. And we don't have any subtraction sign. So as you can see, we have only two steps. We have parentheses and we have division. Yeah. So saying in other words, you need to start with parentheses. You need to do this thing with parentheses, add it in parentheses, and then you need to, you have to divide. Okay, so two steps, division and, but before this, you need to do parentheses. So six plus six equal to one and really great moment right now because we don't have this option. Yeah, we have three, six. It looks like maybe obvious solution for those who don't uh, need, who don't uh, like to, to solve this question. This is like obvious answer, like three plus three, six, maybe some, maybe B is correct. We have three, a lot of three, maybe three is correct. 
answer. But as you can see, correct answer is 1. We reject this 5, which is absolutely wrong. Correct answer is 1. But what about a correct uh, letter right here? We have A, B and C, because this is a test. We need to choose one correct letter. So 1 is not the same as 3. 6 is not the same as 1. So our last hope for us is to check this 0 factorial. What about the 0 factorial? How can we express this in another way? 0 factorial, this is like a special case from our school. 0 factorial equal to 1. So as you can see, this is the same one as right here. And in our mind, we can easily change this one by 0 factorial. And correct answer for this test this is option. Option C is a correct answer to this test. But according to this question, correct answer is 1, of course. Yeah, but this is like very tricky test and we need to choose one a correct letter. But the correct answer is, is 1. Parentheses before uh, division, uh, before uh, parentheses before division, this is the main rule right here. And I hope you understand this order of operation. And uh, Saini, for you, this is like a uh, botmas, absolutely maybe the same uh, answer. We will have the same answer with PMDMC. If, if you apply it right here, botmas, we'll have a, absolutely the same answer. So I hope your answer is the same as mine. I definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. So thank you for your time and have a great day.